I can't get enough of the latest generation of truly wireless earbuds on the market right now. They sound great, they don't fall out of your ears, and they're idiot proof. But that doesn't mean that these wireless earbuds are created equally. We've got the Mastern Dynamic MW07, the Jobber Elite 65T, the Powerbeats Pro, and Apple's AirPods. We're gonna test the design, the connectivity, and sound quality. May the best buds win. This battle is a fight to the death over which earbuds have the most versatile, sensible design. So I'm gonna try each of them and eliminate the most annoying ones as we go. Let's start with the AirPods. The AirPods case is the most compact out of all of them. You can just slide it in your pocket. It is a marvel of engineering that you can fit all the guts you need for a wireless earbud into such a small package. But I feel like if I just like shake my head hard enough, it's gonna, it, it went down a storm drain. The Powerbeats Pro are frankly huge. Big case, big earbud. You gotta hook them on your ear at some point. Once you get them on, they're pretty solid. And that's great if you're doing cartwheels. The Powerbeats Pro case is also huge. So you get them in there and then you can just put them in your pocket. Yeah. Did I get it? Oh, no, try it again. The Master and Dynamic earbuds have a slightly different design. There's an earbud that goes in your ear and the rest kind of sits on the outside. They look pretty cool once you get them in. Nice. The case itself is pretty small. Fairly pocket friendly. The Jobber Elite 65T are super practical. They're small, kind of look like popcorn. They pop right in your ear and they're incredibly secure. They're also waterproof, so you don't have to worry about sweating them into non-existence. And the case itself is compact enough that you can just pop it in your pocket and forget about it. All these earbuds are great in their own way. These are great for sports, great for everyday living, great for fashion, but the Jabra are great at the most things. They're versatile, they fit well in your ear, the case fits in your pocket. Jabra wins the design battle. Connectivity has always been a challenge with truly wireless earbuds. They might have a hard time connecting to your phone, they might cut out, and they especially struggle in noisy environments like Times Square. So for this battle, we're gonna test out how well the earbuds connect to and stay connected to an iPhone and a Google Pixel. Looking for them, found them. Oh my God, I hate this. So holding up, I'm not getting any cutting out. AirPods. It's a little harder than Android, but that's what you'd expect from an Apple product. Oh yeah, they're playing. Oh no, it's playing out of my phone. Connected. It's only one ear. I'll we'll do this. Now I get both. It's not intuitive, but it works. really feel alive. This battle was super close. All of the earbuds performed admirably well in Times Square where there's just a ton of radio interference. But the Master and Dynamics were a little tricky to pair. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. The Jabra's would connect, but sometimes only with one ear and the AirPods cut out a couple times. So the Powerbeats Pro win the connectivity battle. And now it's time for the sound quality battle. We're gonna to listen to a variety of music through each set of earbuds to get an idea of what sounds best. We'll listen to Revolution by Diplo. Here it comes, it's gonna drop. It's a revolution. I like that a lot. All of these earbuds sounded pretty good. I was disappointed with the AirPods, which were basically wimpy. Uh, I'm not a big fan. The jobber sounded a little bit muddy, although I did love the noise cancellation. Am I, am I screaming? The Powerbeats Pro sounded terrific. So I feel sort of emotional, but just not quite as terrific as the Master and Dynamic NW07, which had a refined sound, audio fidelity that is really hard to pack into such a small package. That's why the Master and Dynamic win this battle. All of these truly wireless earbuds are really good. And I have to say, they each have their strengths. 
The AirPods are the cheapest of the bunch, easy to use, but didn't win any of our battles. The Master and Dynamic won our sound quality battle, but they're also the most expensive at $300. The Powerbeats Pro won our connectivity battle, and they're really strong, especially if you want to use them for sports. But the Jabra Elite 65T won our design battle and came really close in the connectivity and sound quality battles. And starting at $170, the Jabra Elite 65T is a tremendous value. So the Jabras win battle mode.